Hello, I'm Katie Wasslager, Grants Manager for the Utah Division of Arts and Museums. Today I'm going to show you how to access our online grant system. First, go to our website, artsandmuseums.utah.gov. From here, you can find more information about our grants by scrolling to Opportunities and clicking Grants and Funding. This page lists the grants we offer, deadlines, links to guidelines, and other important information. To apply for a Utah Arts and Museums grant, go to My A&M in the top right corner of the page and click Login. That will bring up the My A&M page. Make sure you bookmark this page so you can easily find it again. Click on uamgrants.org to bring up the login page. If you have applied for a Utah Arts and Museums grant before, enter your username and password here. If you forgot your password, click here to reset it. If you have not applied before, I'll show you how to create a new user account. To create a new user, click here. This will take you to the registration page. Enter your first name, last name, and the email account you will use for grant correspondence. This will become your username. It is very important that we connect your username to your organization's record in our database. Enter the first word or two of your organization's name and click Submit. It may take a couple of tries to find your organization. I used a nickname so the system didn't recognize me and is prompting me to create a new one. If my organization was not in the system, these are the fields I would fill out to create a new one. Make sure the address you enter matches the address of the organization. I know mine is in the system, so I'll go back. Notice that it works best with the first word or two of the official name. There I am. Next, you will be asked to create a password for your account. Note that your username is your email address. Your password will need to be at least eight characters long and contain both letters and numbers. Once you hit submit, your registration is complete and a confirmation will be sent to your email account. From here, you can log into the grant system. Once you log in, you'll see the portal homepage. From the homepage, you can apply to start a grant application update to work on a saved application, or review for those who are serving on a grant panel. I want to start a new application, so I'll click on Apply. This takes you to the Funding Opportunities page. Click on the name of a grant for more details and to find the guidelines. Click Apply to start an application. This next screen gives you a brief description of the grant. Click Apply to start your application. Next, click Start Application to open your application. Please be sure to look over the guidelines for the grant you want to apply for before you begin. Okay, now you are on the first page of your application or the overview page. Be sure to read the instructions on this page carefully and fill out all of the information in each tab. Some find it easiest to edit their questions in another document and then cut and paste their answers into the application. On this page, you can download any forms you need to complete your application, like the budget worksheet. Questions are divided into areas such as sound management, community involvement, artistic excellence, and arts education. Scores in these sections may be weighted differently, so read the guidelines carefully. This can help you pay particular attention to areas with greater weight. Your application will automatically save every time you move between sections. You can also save your application at any time by clicking Save Draft at the bottom of any page. Once saved, you can exit and return to the application as many times as you like before the deadline. If you need to leave your application, click Save Draft. The system will make sure you want to save and exit. Your past grants are listed on the My Applications page where you can edit your drafts and print any of your applications. To return to your application, log into the Grants Portal. Click Update. This takes you back to My Applications. Find your application and click on the Edit icon. 
Once you are finished filling out the application, go to the Review and Submit tab to review your information. This is where you can check and see if you've missed anything. If everything looks good, click Submit Funding Application. Once you hit the Submit button, the application is locked and you will no longer be able to view or edit your application. To unlock the application, please contact me and I can unlock it for you. Remember, after the deadline, you will no longer be able to work on the application. Just to review, here are some helpful tips to keep in mind when filling out your application. Bookmark the My a and page. Write down your username and password. If you are a new user, make sure you match your account to the organizational record we have in our system. Finally, and most importantly, review the guidelines before you start your application. I hope this training was helpful. If you have any further questions while filling out your application, please feel free to contact me at kwaslager at utah.gov. If you have any questions for improving this training module, please contact Kirsten Darrington at kdarrington at utah.gov.